Alright, so in this problem, I have x plus 1 squared plus x plus 2 to the power of 3 plus x plus 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 2. So, to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting x plus 1 squared as x plus 2 minus 1 squared. I'm going to leave x plus 2 to the power of 3 as the same. And I'm going to rewrite x plus 3 to the power of 4 as x plus 2 plus 1 to the power of 4. Now this is equal to 2. Now, I'm going to let y equal to x plus 2. So now, if I substitute in y for x plus 2, I get y minus 1 squared plus y to the power of 3, plus y plus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 2. And now I'm going to expand this. So y minus squared, that's equal to y squared minus 2y plus 1. And I have this plus y to the power of 3, plus y plus 1 to the power of 4. So how do we expand this? Well, the hard way is to actually multiply out y plus 4 times y plus 4 times y plus 4 times y plus 4. And this is actually not the most efficient way. What we can do is use the triangle method. So I'm going to write out my triangle. So, this is going to be equal to 1, because this is the fourth row, this is to the power of 4, we're going to be using this. So we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we're going to multiply, since our first number is 1, we get 1 times y to the power of 4, plus, next number is 4, 4 times y to the power of 3, plus, next number is 6, 6 times y squared. Notice how our exponent is going down each time. Plus, our next number is 4. So 4 times y plus 1. Our last number is simply 1. So, I'm going to go back over here and write this. So I have y to the power of 4 plus 4y to the power of 3 plus 6y squared plus 4y plus 1 is equal to 2. Now I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm going to simplify it to y to the power of 4 plus 5y to the power of 3 plus 7y to the power squared plus 2y plus 2 is equal to 2. All I did was combine like terms. And now, if I subtract 2 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of 4 plus 5y plus 7y squared plus 2y is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor from my left-hand side, which is y. So I get y times y to the power of 3 plus, it's supposed to be 5y squared. And this is supposed to be 7y, this is supposed to be 5y squared. So I have y times y to the power of 3 plus 5y plus 7. Y plus 2 is equal to 0. It's actually supposed to be a 3. This is supposed to be a 2. Sorry about that. So now from here, I get, e I get two equations. I get y equals 0, and I get y to the power of 3 plus 5y squared plus 7y plus 2 is equal to 0. So y equals 0. This is already a solution for y. Now all that's left 
is solving y to the power of 3 plus 5y squared plus 7y plus 2 equals 0. And how we're going to solve this is we're going to first find one solution to this and then use that one solution to find the remaining. So to find that one solution, we just have to guess. And I'll just tell you guys that the right number that you should guess is negative 2. But when you're guessing to find a solution, you should always start with 1. And then if 1 doesn't work, start with go with negative 1. And then if negative 1 doesn't work, go with 2. If 2 doesn't work, go with negative 2, and so on and so forth. So let's pretend we did all of that and we got to negative 2. Because this works, what we're going to do is we're going to use synthetic division to find the remaining problem, to find the remaining solutions. So how we do synthetic division, if you guys already didn't know, is we look at the coefficients of our terms. So we have 1, 5, 7, and 2, and we write that here, 1, 5, 7, 2. And remember, we, we're using negative 2. Now we're going to bring our 1 down, and negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, so I'm going to write the, the multiplication of these two over here. And now 5 plus negative 2 is 3. Now I'm going to go again. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 7 plus negative 6 is 1. Finally, negative 2 times negative 1, or sorry, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So 0 is our remainder, and we are left with 1, 3, and 1, meaning we get y squared plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. So since we had negative 2 as y, that means we have y plus 2 plus 2, negative 2, times y to the power of y squared plus 3y plus 1 is equal to y to the power of 3 plus 5y squared plus 7y plus 2. And we already know that y plus 2, if this is equal to 0, then y equals negative 2. We already got that. So now all that's left is y squared plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. And to do this, you actually have to use the quadratic formula. But if you do end up using the quadratic formula, you should get that y is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now that we know this and we have two solutions for y, remember how we let y equal x plus 2. Meaning y is equal to negative 2 plus 2. We have y equals 0 over here, so y is equal to 0 plus 2. And y is equal to Sorry, actually, for that, let me just write this here. y is equal to x plus 2. So I'm going to first write 0. So I have 0 is equal to x plus 2. And I get x is equal to negative 2. So this is one solution. Now I get negative 2 was our other solution. So negative 2 is equal to x plus 2, meaning x is equal to negative 4. Now, finally, I get x, x plus 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And this means that x is equal to negative 7 over 2 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So, these are my three solutions to this problem.